G'day, it's Fugitive Australian journalist Shane Dowling from the website kangarookourtofaustralia.com. Now, this is just a quick video. The Free TV Lobby Group have submitted to the National Anti-Corruption Commission Committee that they should be exempt from the uh, anti-corruption uh, legislation. For some reason, they think they're uh, above the law. Their argument was that uh, all they do is supply a service to the government, therefore they should be exempt. But that's absolutely ridiculous, because you've probably got about 50% of companies that are supplying uh, goods and services, another 50% or so supplying a service. And they're the ones that uh, corrupt the government. They do dodgy deals with the politicians, etc. So for the TV companies that want to be exempt, it's just a national scandal. Absolutely scandalous. I've got them on video, so let's watch it. I have one question I want to put to Free TV Australia. So if I can talk to you, Miss Fair. Um, sure. Your submission argues that contractors to government should not be captioned by the provisions of the bill, and that's on page seven. So I'm a, I'm a little bit confused. Could you just clear it up for me? If a contractor to government is engaged in serious or systematic corrupt conduct, can you let, tell the committee why they should be excluded? Uh, well, I think that was just a concern of ours because obviously we're sometimes selling airtime to governments. Um, so we are contractors to government and uh, don't want to, by virtue of our um, commercial activities, be caught up in the scope of the bill. I'm sorry, I, I just, 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 we're just lost. We're just selling me. services to the government. Because you're selling services to the government. So anyone, anyone who just sells any goods or services to the government will potentially come within the scope of that definition. But, and so we believe it's overly broad. I understand your concern. You're saying you don't yeah. want people who are, actually have an incentive to um, bring about corrupt practices. Um, yeah. uh, I'm saying there needs to be some further thought because pr pretty much anyone who interacts with government will be caught within the scope of this bill. I have to, I just have to say this, I can't leave it as a thought, thanks Ms Fair, but I'm going into Senate Estimates mm -hmm. round 52 in the next week and I'm so excited. Uh, and But over the years I have um, uh, 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 witnessed and heard so many times where contractors, eyebrows are raised, but the, the beauty of it is they've been protected by governments and the bureaucracy who refuse to just answer questions, so it does give me grave concern. Now that was Bridget Fair, CEO of uh, Free TV Australia, uh, which lobbies on behalf of the Free TV companies, which is only 7, 10 and 9, and she previously worked at Channel 7, where she was up to her neck and covering up the Tim Warner sex, drug and fraud scandal. Tim Warner is a former CEO. So you can Google that and have a good look or go to my website and search. You'll find further information there. Um, it's absolutely a joke. And luckily the Labor Party senator called it out. He didn't say it was a joke, but he, uh, his eyes were obviously raised. <laughs> he couldn't believe it. They were trying that on. But I suspect they'll fail because if they succeed, it's going to be an uproar. And you won't find other media companies reporting on it, will you? Uh, only me. And I've called this Media Chunk. Media Chunk number one, where I'll be doing uh, little uh, videos on the failings of the Australian media. In my Patreon account, I set up about seven, eight weeks ago. I was just broken through the 200 mark. I was sitting on 202 supporters, which helps fund these videos on my website. So please support that if you can. There'll be a link uh, below the video on YouTube and also on my website. Click on the Patreon button. And you can donate, you know, $3, 5 7 8 10 20 30 whatever suits your budget. Most people can afford $3 or $5 a month. And please share this video on uh, Facebook and Twitter, etc. Help shine a light on the dodgy media companies trying to be exempt from the National Anti-Corruption Commission. They want to shine the light on the politicians and everyone else, but they don't want the light shine on them, do they? Thank you for your time and have a good day.